Pips in Forex refer to the smallest price increment tabulated by currency markets to establish the price of a currency pair. In Forex trading, a pip is the smallest unit price movement that an exchange rate can make, typically appearing as the fourth decimal place in a quote for most currency pairs. The value of a pip depends on the currency pair, exchange rate, and trade value. Currency pairs involving the Japanese yen have two decimal places, and the value of a pip is calculated differently. Pips determine whether a trader makes a profit or a loss, and gains and losses can add up quickly in the forex market. Traders use pips or points in percentage to measure the smallest change in value between two currencies. It is represented by a single-digit move in the fourth decimal place in currency quotes. To calculate the pip value for a particular currency pair, traders need to use a specific formula. The pip value can be different depending on the trading account's currency, which means that it needs to be translated to the account currency. Calculation examples are provided for various currency pairs to help traders understand the concept. The pip value is calculated by multiplying one pip, 0.0001, by the specific lot, contract size. For standard lots, this entails 100,000 units of the base currency and for mini lots, 10,000 units of the base currency. For micro lots, it is 1,000 units of the base currency. The pip value depends on the lot size and differs for each currency pair. For standard lots, a 1 pip movement in the euro USD currency pair is equal to $10. The Japanese yen is an exception and has a much lower value. A 1 pip movement in mini and standard contracts for the USD JPY currency pair is 100 Japanese yen and JPY 1000, respectively. Understanding pips helps traders put a monetary value to their take profit targets and stop loss levels. By calculating the pip value, traders can decide how much they want to risk and how much they want to earn in each trade. Traders that have a clear understanding of pips can make more informed decisions about their trades. One of the advantages of using pips in forex trading is that it allows traders to calculate their profits and losses more accurately. Since pips are standardized across different currency pairs, traders can easily compare their performance across different markets. This allows traders to identify which markets are more profitable and which ones are not. However, there are also some disadvantages to using pips in forex trading. One of the main disadvantages is that pips do not take into account other factors that can affect a trade's profitability. For example, pips do not consider the spread, which is the difference between the bid and ask price. This means that a trade can appear profitable based on the number of pips gained, but when the spread is taken into account, it may actually result in a loss. Another disadvantage of using pips is that it can be misleading for traders who are not familiar with the concept. Since pips are such a small unit of measurement, they can give traders a false sense of security. Traders may think that a trade is low risk because it only requires a few pips to be profitable, but in reality, the trade may be much riskier than they realize. In conclusion, pips are an important concept in forex trading. They allow traders to calculate their profits and losses more accurately and make more informed decisions about their trades. However, it is important to remember that pips do not take into account other factors that can affect a trade's profitability and can be misleading for traders who are not familiar with the concept. Traders should have a clear understanding of pips and how they work before using them in their trades. You can subscribe to channels you like to see more content from those channels. You can find a subscribe button under any YouTube video or on a channel's page. Once you subscribe to a channel, any new videos it publishes will show up in your subscriptions feed. You may also start getting notifications when a channel you subscribe to publishes new content. Comment your views below. Thanks for watching.